kind of trying to straighten this out here as you can see this tank was collapsed I kind of did a dumb thing here and I'll show you what that was but this here was collapsed from that top ridge there it was almost meeting that bottom ridge so this has come up now about a foot and a half and the way we're doing it is it the opposite of the way we destroyed it? We're pumping one pound of air into this and it's coming back. We'll have to watch it. You see. Here's my apparatus here. So you can see I've got basically this gauge set at like one pound, maybe two pounds at the most. Give it a little more there. You can just hear the air going in a little bit. And you know what? We'll come back and you'll see how much this is. You wouldn't believe how much it came up. It came up a whole bunch already, but it's going to come back some more. And if there's a hole, hey, we'll weld it up. But this point, right up here, that was down here before. This tank was less than half a capacity. This is a 300 gallon tank and I bet you I couldn't have got 100 gallons in here when it was collapsed. And I'm just putting air to it. Very, very slow. The culprit, what happened here is I have a vent cap. This vent cap, what I have here, and I still got the plastic here. Well, we and to stop it when I was transporting, I had this plastic on there to stop it from backsplashing out of the tank when I'm, when I'm driving. Going around corners and stuff like that, it tends to spill out if I don't close off this vent. Well, this plastic, I didn't take it out. And I took my pump, hooked it up to the valve, uh, to the fittings there, turned the pump on and way to go. The pump I use Right here, a little inch and a half water. Well, we'll see what happens in about five minutes here. I got I pump it, bumped up the pressure to about five pounds. Boom. Hey, I got about four or five pounds going in there now. So things should start to happen actually. Coming back. Oh, stuff happening here. The side's starting to come out too.